Welcome to this short video on passive monitoring techniques for the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. My name is Darren Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netport Technologies. So what is HIPAA? Well, HIPAA is designed to protect the privacy of a patient's personal and health information. It provides for electronic and physical security of personal and health information, and it simplifies billing and other transactions. So in this short video, we're going to take a look at passive monitoring techniques for, monitor for monitoring patient data as it moves around the computer network. So what must we protect? Well, we must protect an individual's personal and health information that is created, kept, filed, used, or shared, or is written, spoken, or is in electronic format. HIPAA says that this information is protected health information. So the Windows File Share Monitor, which has been developed by Netfort Technologies, is a passive appliance-based traffic analysis system. It allows you to create file share audit logs, and no agents are needed on the clients or servers, no auditing needs to be enabled on the servers, and you can relate this important information back to individual users. A typical install can take less than one hour, and again, you do not need to modify your servers, you do not need to enable any auditing. So how does it plug in? Well, here in my network here, I've got a core switch, I've got a number of application database servers, and I've got PCs and laptops connectors where my users are logging on. On my network here, I've installed the Windows File Share Monitor onto a PC. It's got two network cards, both are connected into the core switch, and one is configured as a monitoring port. The monitoring port is taking a copy of data as it comes in and out of the server connections. So if you've got a managed switch, it'll have an option in there for setting up monitoring or, or sometimes referred to as span. Now you can install the software onto, onto either a server, a PC, or you can also download it as a virtual appliance. The links are shown at the bottom of this video where you can download the software. So how does it work? Well, here we've got a X-ray file here and it's hosting on our application server. So I've got a user that have logged on here and they, they want to copy that file to their workstation. So the file leaves the server, goes through the core switch, and arrives at their desktop. So as that traffic moves through the core switch, the Windows File Share Monitor is acting as a network security guy here who's keeping a log of every file as it moves up and down the network. So if a user copies a file, creates files, deletes files, modifies files, a record is kept of this activity. So let's now take a look at it as an operation on a network. Okay, we're now logged on to the Windows File Share Monitor. This is the web front end of the system. I'm going to go to my Windows Explorer here, and I've got a drive map to the Medical Center Share, our main server here, which hosts some patient information. So within the share, I've got a number of folders. We've got some facilities, finance, some templates, and some patient records. So I'm going to go into patient records, I'm going to go here to Dr. Williams, Going to pick one of these patients here, Albert Jones. So we've got a number of x-rays associated with this patient. So I'm actually going to copy off these x-ray files. I'm going to go to my PC. I'm going to put, drop them in here to this medical records folder. There they are. So as a user, I've taken a copy of this, 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 these images which are associated with a, with a patient of one of the doctors here. So I'm going to go here now to the Windows File Share Monitor to check and make sure that we've picked up these records as they moved around the or these files as they moved around the network. So very simply here, we're going to go search by file name. Now the patient in this case was a chap called Albert, so we're just going to type in Albert in here in the file name search. Run the report. And sure enough, we've picked up records here of somebody accessing Albert Jones x-rays. We can drill down on this, and we can find the client here responsible. So in this case here, this, my laptop is connected to the file share server. Let's get the uh, actual date and time that that file was opened. So it occurred here this evening. So we picked up that date and time exactly right. So we now have got an audit trail here of users accessing this information. With Active Directory or with eDirectory, we can also get the username. I don't have it configured on my system here, but with the Active Directory integration, we can also have the username, so we can have username, client, server, action. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back onto the network. I'm going to go to the M drive here, which is all our medical center data. 
going to go to finance and we're going to delete the budget forecast document here. So we've just removed that off the network. So again, we have a question now. So not only medical records, but our finance manager is, is questioning what happened, the budget forecast file, where is it gone? So we're going to go back here to the file share monitor. Going to go search by file name. And in this case here, I want to take a look for any deletes. So what sort of files have been deleted off the network over the last four hours? We run the report and sure enough, here is the budget forecast file. Drill down and we have a track back to, to my laptop here, confirming that it was a delete. When did this occur? It occurred just right now, just after deleting that file off the network. So again, we've got a record kept here of a, all file transactions on your network. Whether it be read, so let's have, take a look at the options here. We've got create, open, renames, deletes, reads, and writes. And all of the activity then is displayed on dashboard. So you, you can have an up-to-date view of what files are moving around, who's accessing patient data, PDF files. Actually, we've got some um, movie files moving around as well. And on the patient records, one of the nurses here is storing some, some movie files. So they can make cause problems. They can fill up this space quite quickly. So very, very useful tool as well for tracking for video files, maybe music files that could be using a lot of storage on your servers. So that's a very, very quick introduction to the Windows File Share Monitor and how you can passively mo monitor files and especially patient data as it moves around your network. So if you want to find out what is happening on your Windows File Shares within one hour, please go to www.windowsfilesharemonitor.com where you can download a free trial today. Alternatively, you can also email sales at netfortechnologies.com and we will send you further information and provide you with links where you can download the software. Thank you.